Hello everyone, this is Ravi Deja as part of project 1. My topic is on traffic light detection system for blind, which is an mobile cloud integrated approach. This is my agenda. I start speaking about introduction and then architecture and workflow of the system and different algorithms used in the system and then success and failures of the system then challenges and then conclusion introduction intro of existing systems existing systems fall short of many requirements due to their dependency on specific infrastructure requirements as well as having limited access to resources that could provide a wealth of contextual clues navigation system the navigation system we are proposing is an mobile cloud collaborative approach for context aware navigation this navigation system make use of computational power resources by cloud computing service providers and wealth of location specific resources available on internet to provide maximal context awareness mnes mnes stands for mobile navigational awareness server which is basically an mobile device as part of this system we are using an android mobile device and cnes cnes stands for cloud navigational awareness server which is basically an web service provider and as part of the system we are using amazon ec2 as an web service provider advantages we have many advantages of the system when compared to existing system one major advantage would be let us uh, suppose if there is any third party provider which uh, develops a new api related to locational resources our system is easily extensible and can consume that api which is major advantage when compared to existing systems now let us like take a look at architecture architecture in brief from the introduction we know that our system is a two tier architecture and contains major two components which is mnes and c cloud navigational awareness server mnes as said it is an basically an uh, mobile device and which major responsibilities would be lo local navigation local obstacle detection and interacting with cloud and user when it comes to cnes which is cloud web service provider it performs desired location specific functionality and communicates the desired relevant information back to M mnes and warnings of any potential hazards are also be provided by cloud now let us see the workflow the cloud server is responsible for receiving video frames from the mobile device after receiving the video frames we will be applying different image processing algorithms to find shape object and status detection on the frames we captured and after image processing algorithms are applied we send back the desired relevant information back to mobile through an secured tcp connection and the mobile receives the information in the form of text and the system is responsible for converting this text to speech through tts libraries that are present in the android mobile and the different image processing algorithms that we have uh, developed as part of this system are circular hoffman transfer and adaboost adaptive algorithm we'll take a look this is the site uh, which has been uh, served for the tutorial if you see this is the architecture as said here is the mobile device which acts as mnas and here is the cloud which acts as cnas and the mobile is receiving the information in the form of text and it is converting to tts to the user 
and mobile location specific resources are provided by GPS receiver here and here is the system workflow how it works the Android phone which day which captures an images and it sends this image video to cloud and here cloud it will do some image processing algorithms and it will send back the desired relevant information back to Android as said it receives the information in the form of text and uh, text to speech conversion is happened there now let's go back to the PPT now let us discuss in brief about the algorithms used the different algorithms we used as part of this system is circular half transform and adobe boost adaptive algorithm circular half transform it is especially used to find the circular shapes in an given image and it will be also helpful in removing the noise from the blurred images and this noise in the images can be removed by using different filters one among them as part of the system is used is Gaussian filter and now about Ada boost adopt algorithm as a major uh, major feature of this system is an object recognition but the object recognition must be done faster so we are using the Ada boost adopt algorithm which is an machine learning algorithm which works on the principle of classification it repeatedly finds for the weak classifiers and tries to eliminate the weak classifiers so as to give the better accuracy rate and response time now let us look at the you know, different processing algorithms this is the site and as said here you can find the code and here you, have, you can see the step by step procedure of the algorithm and after, this is like we can find the circle by applying a circular half transform and this is about the Ada boost adopt algorithm I mentioned the algorithm as well yeah, now let us go back to the PPT and sensors and devices the different sensors and devices which are used as part of this system is Android mobile which is MNAS of the system and Amazon EC2 which is in CNAS which is a cloud service provider and the mobile features that were used as part of this system is the uh, features like compass and GPS receiver of mobile we are using now let us discuss about the success rates similar system is being tested at Purdue University by collecting 250 images from google.com and images in and around uh, Purdue University under different weather conditions and from different angles these images collected would form a final data set and this final data set is tested against the our system and the results of around 95 percent success rate has came but uh, there are many failures for the system as well now uh, let us discuss about that in challenges the challenges while developing the system could be uh, this mobile battery life or uh, high resolution images and circular half transform issues mobile battery life as uh, the mobile need to capture the video frames and it should send back the information to cloud means that means every time the mobile should be in sync with the cloud and it should wait for the response from the cloud it will take uh, so much uh, so much so much time and so much uh, battery life uh, for the cloud uh, for them for from the mobile and it will not be suitable and system will not be suitable for longer distances this can be and this can be overcome as part of the future work and when it comes to high resolution images uh, right now our system only deals with the high resolution images high resolution images if uh, it will take so much time for the image processing uh, algorithms uh, 
as our system requires faster response these high resolution images can also be handled by doing some pre processing uh, in the uh, android mobile device before sending the images to cloud uh, the pre processing uh, will make the high resolution images to lower resolution images in this way we can do this can be also implemented as part of the future work and uh, circular half transform issues circular transform half transform issues like there would be couple of issues while using the circular half transform let's say uh, we can f we can have like shadow of the traffic uh, traffic uh, we can have the shadow on the traffic lights so the circle could not be detected perfectly and there might be issue uh, like our system could not recognize the difference between the tail lights of different uh, vehicles and the traffic light both looks similar in shape so these are the challenges our system has and a conclusion our si system is about an open and extensible uh, architecture open uh, system has open open and extensible architecture and system is in mobile and cloud collaboration on mobile we are using an android device or uh, to f capture the local features and send it to the cloud on cloud we are using amazon ec2 as web service provider these uh, collects or uh, uh, these collects uh, information from mobile and it process the information and send backs to the mobile this is has major advantage this has many advantages when compared to the existing systems uh, please take a quiz from the tutorial poster thank you and while developing this tutorial and as part of this research uh, i learned a lot thanks uh, professor lin for providing me this opportunity thanks